Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial with me showing you how I created this beautiful glowy bronzed sparkly highlighted look using the Juvia's Place Warrior Eyeshadow Palette. I'm not going to go too in depth with the formula and the make and the packaging of the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette because I mean we all know it's the bomb diggity. Juvia's Place is the best out there when it comes to affordable eyeshadow palettes. These pan sizes are incredibly generous. This brand obviously is very much catered and leaning towards providing beautiful pigments and eyeshadows that really show up on women or people of color. So I'm really super happy to be able to have picked up this warrior palette and create this eyeshadow look for you today. So. I'm gonna stop rambling. Before I go any further, guys, it would really super help me out if you have not subscribed already, if you would hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and give it, you know, leave a comment below or even don't leave a comment below. Even if you just press subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, that would help me so incredibly much. I already have my face moisturized. I went in my same old, same old Jericho Cosmetics Restoring Day Cream. Before I go in with my base, my foundation, my concealer, I am going to go in with the star of the show today, the Warrior Palette by Juvia's Place. I'm so excited to use this palette today, guys. I know there are so many tutorials already out there using this palette, and I was gonna say, I'm gonna try something different, but I'm really what hasn't been done under the sun. So I'm just going to go in with this and create whatever look I come up with. But first of all, look at this beautifulness. Look at this packaging. And I mean, not just the packaging, look at these shades. You could do so much with these. So there are three matte shades and there are six shimmer shades. So I'm gonna do some swatches for you guys. And mind you, this is the first time I'm swatching this palette, so while I'm doing it, all you will be able to see on my face is pure joy. <laughs> this is Amina, Idea, this is Mino, this is Ahosi, Moremi, <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. And this is Kano, this is Dahomey. It's the homie. <laughs> this is Bakwa Benin. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at those shimmer shades. <gasps> I might even use some of that as a highlight later on. The shimmer shades look like they're a tiny bit flaky, but that's probably just because they are so full of pigment. Okay, without further ado, let's let's just get into this eye look. I'm going to go in with the Bonnie's Choice concealer in the shade 25. I wanted a bit of a lighter base so that the colors from the palette that I'll be using will stand out a whole lot more. I know I need to groom my eyebrows. Girl, you gotta get your shit together. Okay, pure excitement, guys. I'm going to go in with the shade Ahosi and use that as an all-over lid base just to set that concealer and provide a smooth base for the rest of the eyeshadows to blend on top of. I'm going to grab a fluffy blending brush. This one is the Morphe E23, and I'm going to go into the shade Kano and apply that in my transition. I'm just really blowing that shade out as a full-on transition and basically just applying it everywhere. Okay, now that I have that shade Kano beautifully blown out in my crease, I'm going to go into the shade Mino this dark one here and apply that just to the outer crease of my eye. I think I want to do almost like a halo eye look with this palette so I'm going to take some of that dark shade on the outer corner and try and avoid the middle part of my eyelid although I know it's hard because my eyelid space is really small and I actually have more space between my eyebrow bone and where my crease starts so I'm just gonna try and keep that dark shade Mino right in the corners of my eyes I'm trying to avoid the middle part of my lid there, but because my lid space is so small, it's um, getting quite covered up there as you can see. So I'm just going to clean that up a little bit later on with some concealer. 
To cut out my halo eye, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Concealer by Face Studio. Now that I've got my concealer down, I'm going to go in with the shade Idea all over where I place that concealer. I'm going to slightly wet my brush as well. This is looking really crazy. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the shade Benin and just apply that all around the outer perimeter of where I applied that halo. I'm going to try and keep that shade blending into the center of my eye instead of outwards. Otherwise, I'll lose all of that depth and darkness that I applied earlier. I'm going to go back in with a small blending brush and go back into the shade Mino and just reapply some of that darkness on the outer and the inner corners of my eyes. I'm also going to take that blending brush again and go into the shade Kano and redefine that over where I've applied the halo. Now that my eyes are sufficiently dark, I want a fair bit of light right in the center of my eyes. So I'm going to dampen my brush again and to go into the shade Moremi and apply that right in the center of my eyeballs. I'm just going to clean up all that fallout that's under the eyes. There is a fair bit of fallout, but that doesn't bother me. That just tells me that these shadows are super pigmented. That's it for the top half of my eyes. I'm going to go in with the rest of my face before I finish off the eyes. I'm going to go in with the Mecca Cosmetica hydrating primer all over my face because I'm wanting a really super bronzed, glowy, hydrated and highlighted look today. So I'm going to go in with a hydrating primer. All right, so our neighbors just decided that now is a great time to uh, start the lawnmower and it probably is, it's a really beautiful day outside. But if you can hear that, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Now I want a little bit more glow as well, so I'm going to go in with the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marilla Luxury Facial Oil and apply that as well. I'm just going to rub the rest of that into my hands because goodness knows that shit was expensive and I don't want to waste any tiny last little bit of it. And also my hands are dry as all hell, so. I'm going to go into the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I have a feeling that this one is a tad too light for me, but it's really the only luminous foundation I've got. And it says it perfectly matches skin color and texture, so uh, we'll see about that. Oh yeah, it's way too light for me, but that's okay. I will make it work and just warm up the skin with some bronzer. I don't want to go in too heavy with the foundation because I have been really loving really light and minimal foundation recently. I know it hasn't looked like it in my photos, but that's just because a lot of the foundations I use are matte full coverage ones, but I really still don't apply very much. That's really minimal coverage, as you can still see my, my blemishes there and my dark spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm going to go in a little bit heavier with that, but not too much. I try and use that to conceal my dark circles and slightly highlight the rest of my face. And for my blemishes here, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Conceal and just apply that to where I need the extra coverage.
my skin is really glowing yes that's the look I was going for now I'm going to set that concealer it never does me dirty it always blends out so nicely so I'm going to go in now with my RCMA translucent powder and just set that concealer oh and by the way subscribe if you've made it this far through the video you may as well hit the thumbs up button because you know why not <laughs> okay now my face is a gorgeous different shade from the rest of my body so I'm going to go in with a bit of bronzer I don't want my entire bronzer slash contour to be illuminated so I'm going to go in first with some matte contour this is my BYS contour trio palette if you've watched any of my videos you'll know that this is my absolute favorite so I'm going to go in with a little bit of contour and then over the top of that I'm going to go in with my Island Face and Body Bronzer which is an illuminating bronzer. Want to contour my nose a little bit? I really love this e.l.f. brush. It just fits perfectly between my my eye socket here and where my nose contour is. And all I have to do is sit it there and blend a little bit. And I know it's a little bit of a crazy nose contour right now, but I'm going to blend that out. I want a little bit of blushage on my cheek edge, so <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Kmart OXX Studio Blush. Just a little bit of a subtle blush will do for this look today. I did say I wanted a little bit of an illuminating and golden glowy bronzer, so I'm going to go in with my BYS Island Bronze Face and Body Bronzer. And this one has a golden sheen to it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I feel like I need to redefine my cheeks a little bit because they kind of got lost there. So I'm just going to bake a tiny little bit under here. Nothing too crazy. And I want to bake just the absolute center of my nose there. And a tiny little bit under the eyes. While I'm going to let that bake for a little bit, nothing too crazy, I'm going to finish off the eyes. So I'm going to go in with my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Get Paid. Get laid, get paid. No, not really. And that's what it looks like there. It's really pretty. I used to wear it all the time in my waterline back in the day. Back in the day being like a year ago. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply that all over my waterline. Oh, that's super gorgeous. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black eyeliner just in my tight line, just on the outer edge of my eye. Another thing I probably need to pay a little bit more attention to as well is my brows. I'm going to redefine them a little bit. Nothing too crazy because obviously, I mean, I don't really need that much, but I'm going to go into my OXX Studio Brow Powder and I'm just going to very lightly fill in my brows. I don't need too much. This shade is probably a little bit too light for me, but I don't really mind that because, um, again, I don't need too much because I have brows. I'm lucky I have brows. If you've come to my channel looking for like brow advice, then you may as well just click off, unsubscribe, walk away right now because I probably won't be very much help to you. Sorry. I'm going to go in with some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel just to keep my eyebrows in place. That brow's done. I'm just gonna kick off all of that bake. Okay, now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go in with a really small precision brush. Looks like this, in the shade Mino. I'm just going to pick up some of that and apply that really tightly close to the waterline. Just 
gonna apply it really close to the lash line and stop right here in the center of my eye. Now I'm going to go in with an even smaller blending brush. This one is the Morphe E36. And I'm going to go into the shade Kano. And I'm going to blend that out right under where I applied the shade Mino. So I'm going to take that shade Kano and blend that out under the lower lash line. But instead of just stopping in the center of my eye here, I'm going to take it all the way, almost all the way into the inner corner as well. Now I'm going to take that same blending brush and just buff everything out underneath the eye and really smoke it out. I feel like I need to deepen up the inner corners of my eyes again just to kind of redefine that halo look in the middle of my eye. So I'm just taking that brush and just gently patting that shade Mino back into the center of my eyes. Okay, I feel like I badly need some underbrow highlight, so I'm going to go into the shade Ahosi. Just apply some of that right under the brow bone. And then ever, ever so lightly, I'm going to go into the shade Moremi and just give that just a little touch under the brow bone as well. Okay, maybe more than just a touch. All right, I want some more illumination in the center of my eyes. So I'm going to take some of that shade Moremi as well and blend it into my inner corner. I want a little bit more of that in the center of my eye as well. So I'm gonna do that. If I can find my brush, there it is. Right, so I'm going to apply liner, lashes, and mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is how much I suck at applying falsies, you guys. I put the glue on both of them, I applied one, and then I lost the other one. And I, I don't know where it is, so I had to take this one off, and I'm going to apply a new pair that I've got here. I don't usually put falsies on because as you already know, I'm not very good at it, but I will keep going and I will keep trying and I will get better and I'll be right back. Okay, so after some trial and error, definitely much more error than trial, I finally managed to get these falsies to stay on my eyes. So that's a bonus, I'm pretty happy. I'm loving how these lashes look. These are just cheap old Morphe ones I bought when they had a discontinuing sale or something. Now that I've got the lashes on, I'm going to apply some highlight. And this one I'm really excited for because I'm going to use that same shade that I applied on my inner corner. I'm going to see how that looks on my cheekbones. So I'm going to moisten my face. While my face is still damp, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender, just the absolute tip of it, into the shade Moremi, and see how that looks on the high points of my cheeks. Ooh, well, well, well. She's definitely showing up to work. Oh, that is pretty. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. It wouldn't be a complete Juvia's Place look without some blinding highlight. For the lips, I'm going to be a little bit extra. I'm going to first go in with this darker Rimmel lip liner. This one is in the shade Obsession. Then over the top of that, I'm going to go in with another Rimmel lip liner called Call Me Crazy. And this one is a much more brighter orange sort of lip liner. So I don't know how it's going to turn out looking, but I have a feeling that it's going to be pretty. So we'll see how I go. I'm only going to take this lip liner on the outer parts of my lips and try and create like a pouty look. Now I'm going to go in with that shade Call Me Crazy and just blend it into the same spot where I applied the first one. Okay, now that that's on, I'm going to just take my finger and blend all of that into the center of my lips really lightly. And just over the top of that, I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soil over the top. Okay. 
Okay, so I don't know what that lip liner did. That was a waste of time. But I was trying out a new technique that I saw Katie from Luster Lux uh, talk about. But to be fair, she was using more natural colors. Whereas this one is like a very bright in your face orange. And I'm not sure how I feel about this lip with this eye, but it's done. I've done it. There's no turning back now. So what am I missing from this look? I feel like I'm missing something from this look. Oh, I know. When in doubt, glitter. And here's hoping to the bronze goddesses that I don't F up my makeup look because I'm actually really liking it how it is right now but I just feel like I need a little bit more of something okay so just taking a really fine tip eyeliner brush this one is the wet and wild one I'm just gonna take some of that glitter liner and apply that just over the top of my black eyeliner You probably can't even see that while my eyes are open, but I know there's glitter on my eyes and that makes me happy. <laughs> All right, so that is the finished look. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. It wasn't really that much of a tutorial, was it? I don't know. I was just playing around with some makeup, doing what I love, playing with some glitter, and damn, does that make me happy. And honestly, I am actually really wrapped with how this eyeshadow look turned out. It's so beautiful. Video is not sponsored. I just love it. And without further ado, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please definitely give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on all my other social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. They are all life as geek eye. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Even blend. Can I speak today, please? You'll know this is my absolute favorite, sir. Favorite. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll <coughs> softer, blend, more blendable brushes, brushes, and basically just, and basically, nudie sort of lip lick, lip licks.